Hello, <coughs> welcome to this video tutorial. In continuity with our testing series, uh, today we are going to cover another new topic that is uh, entitled Java Hello World Unit Testing, JUnit and NetBeans. In short, we will just see how to perform a basic unit testing in Java. So for that, let's go to the uh, IDE. Here, the current version of IDE I'm using is 8.0.2. So we create a new project. Here, next, we name it uh, project. J unit zero zero one project J unit zero one and yeah this is our project so <coughs> now we are going to uh, insert some code suppose we just want to use a simple uh, we just want to test a simple addition function so for that one that will return an integer add them here it is taking a and b and then we we'll return the sum so return a plus b so here is the function that we want we would like to test so let's make sure that our function is working properly so here suppose we just uh, just want to output it system dot uh, sorry just want to output our function okay system dot out dot print sum is then here we are going to output c and c is we get it from here c is equal new project then add them so here is we just pass one maybe here three so <coughs> and here you can see like you have our functions functions here and then in the main function we just uh, come and call the function pass it to c and then print the output so if we test it here we should be able to get uh, run it we should be able to get four pump so we have four now the next step is to perform uh, the unit test of uh, this uh, basic function to do that one you right click uh, our projects then come to order scroll down here we see unit test and here we select a uh, j unit test next and here we just rename our thing to maybe my j unit test and yeah for now we just accept the default and then okay j unit for So here NetBeans will generate a simple uh, unit test class here that we can see here and now so for now we don't uh, this one we shouldn't uh, we should ignore all these uh, classes here but instead if uh, we come down here you can see uh, to do add test method here 
The method must be uh, annotated with annotation at test. For example, here. <coughs> Hello, here you want to perform our test, first test. So here and now to perform the unit test, there are set of uh, keywords function that we can use. So for example, we want to check if uh, we want to check if this addition, if uh, the addition that the uh, formula that we put here in our addition function is true. So for that one we use the assertion so assert assert equal and there are a lot of functions that we can use but because we just want to check uh, we result with a non result so for example assert equal here we have the message and then the expected result and then the actual result so the expected result is what we know that what we are expecting and the actual is what the function will return so if we use these functions here for example here we say that it should be 2 it should be we can pass any message here then we pass two then next now now we need to call our function to do that one we will need uh, to create a uh, an instance of uh, our project unit class so for that one we will call a uh, project create an object here you can call it a test unit or test object to then sorry, new okay our test object is created now we are free to call it to call any uh, method of that uh, class to now add them so for now we expect our function to return two so we pass first one and the second argument one <coughs> because we know our function is performing the addition if we pass one as the first uh, argument and another at the second argument as one then the our function should return two if it doesn't return that one then you will say that okay there's something wrong with our the implementation of our add them uh, method so if you just run it right uh, right click run file here yeah you can see you can see here like we have a test test run failure zero failure error zero error and then this one so you can see this is our first uh, <coughs> this is our first test you can also run it i think from here right click test then run so the same result will come out so we continue with a uh, second uh, second test now <coughs> you want to perform the same thing now with uh, here with the false expectation so we are expecting three but we pass one as first argument and one as second argument if we run it here our second test should obviously fail and here that's what we get we get here 50 percent uh, 50 percent pass in green here and fail here uh, 
I mean 50 another 13 part so if we see we go here we should see that okay where where is the problem here you can see this function here it should be two and sorry we just pass point three here so here when we go and to debug it we go to inspect our result here we can see that it should be it should be our message say here that it should be three but it was returned two was returned as you can see here so yeah here is a uh, Here is the introduction to the unit test and I hope that uh, you can now uh, perform some at least basic unit testing of your program and then stay tuned we will continue with more advanced tutorial in the, in the next part. Thanks.